everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today I'm kicking off my Premiere Pro series, so teaching you about editing video. Everything from creating a project in Premiere to ingesting your media to your basic project setup, your first edits, coloring, some stuff that I do, bringing in music, audio, doing multicam stuff. It's going to be a series like my Lightroom series is. That's going to continue as well. So today I'm going to start with an overview of Premiere, show you the workspace, how to get a project started, and then we'll start going from there. All right, so to get started, we're gonna go ahead and launch Premiere. We're gonna start a new project. I'm gonna show you what the settings in that project mean, how you get started, and then walk you through the Premiere workspace. So let's jump right into Premiere. So to get started, we're just gonna launch Premiere here. So when you first launch Premiere now, this is for Premiere Pro CC 2017. You may have a different start screen than this if you have an earlier version, um, I think 9.1 or before. So right here we've got our, um, our basics that we've got. So you've got recent, and I just have two recent projects in here. Then you've got CC files, sync settings. We're not gonna worry about those right now. Then you can go new project or open project. So new project is brand new. Open project would be opening one that's not listed in the recent here. So maybe it's on a drive that you have attached or it's not one of the recent ones. For today, we're just gonna start with new project. Then click on new project and we'll just start with a name. So we'll just say test project. Now the location is where it's going to put itself. Um, so this is going to go to desktop icons. So let's just browse this. Let's just browse right to the desktop and we'll just put this right on the desktop. This will be called test project. It's gonna go on the desktop and let's actually create a new folder on the desktop. Just called a uh, test project. So now you can see on the desktop, it created this test project folder. It's going to be stored there. And it tells you the video rendering and playback. So this is somewhat important. The renderer here, if you, when you use OpenCL or you might see CUDA if you have an NVIDIA card or Metal, that's using the discrete graphics card that's in your system, whether that's a laptop or a desktop with a built-in uh, built video graphics processor or video card. And then if you see Mercury Playback Engine software only, that's going to use your CPU and your, basically your CPU and as much of your RAM as possible to do all the rendering, all of the pre-rendering, the previews and all of that. So with um, OpenCL or Metal, you're going to get uh, graphic acceleration, you're gonna get hardware acceleration, and with the Mercury Playback Engine only, you're not. I'm gonna choose Metal. On here on my system, from what I've tested, Metal is a little bit faster. Then the other ones, I'm just gonna leave as is. Let's jump over to the other pieces. So we've got scratch disks. So the scratch disk, this is where it's going to put the files that you bring in. So if you're capturing video, it's showing you right now, all of these are in test project. So it's going to put all these files in test project. That might be fine for most of you. For some of you, if, you're, if you wanna store your video files, your scratch disk and everything else on a separate disk, or you wanna store it somewhere else, or you don't have enough storage here, you could select another drive to store that on. Maybe you've got a faster drive that you wanna work from. So for the scratch disk for this purpose, we're going to leave all the scratch disk items the same. We're not gonna change the location of any of them. And we're gonna hit okay. Okay, so right away when you open up Premiere, you've got the project open and we're in really the editing workspace here. So with this editing workspace, we can go through and I'll just go through the different windows and tell you what these are. So we've got a, um, this right here is your source monitor. So the source monitor, this is where you bring footage from the project pane, which we'll go over in a second, and then you get that footage ready to bring into your project. So whether that's you can create in and out points so you're not pulling the whole clip in, you can do some other things with it. Um, over here you have the actual program monitor. So as you're building a sequence and you preview it, this program monitor, this window here is where you're going to preview that. So, and then you have some preview options if you wanna see it in quarter resolution, half or full, and you can set your multi-cam and other stuff here. Down here you have the project window. So this project area, this is where all of your assets, your media, you can browse for new ones, your libraries, everything is in here. And then your timeline is where you're actually bringing assets down and doing the editing in. So really quick, I like to use keyboard shortcuts. So for keyboard shortcuts, if you press shift one, you'll go to the project area. Shift two, you'll go up to the source monitor. Shift three, you'll go down to the timeline. And shift four, you'll go over to the program monitor. That's kind of a really quick way. So you know, if you wanna jump down to the project, you can just hit shift one and then go down through there. So as we look in here, we've got, um, I'll go through some of the, the pieces that you have here. So all of these panels, they're all configurable. So you can grab this and you can make that program monitor larger. 
You can bring this window up so that you've got more view of your project, your uh, project area or your timeline. You can bring that back down. You can actually detach these and do different things with them so you can add different um, panels in here. You can undock the panel. So if I undock it, it's just gonna kind of float. So you can see that, I can do that. And now though I've kind of messed up my workspace, you know, they're different, my project, my um, program, my uh, program monitor is gone. So at any time, if I've gone around and I've messed with these and I wanna get them back, I can go over here to window, go to workspaces and just click set, reset to saved layout. It'll pop right back into that layout that I was in. At the same time, I can change this work area for different things that I'm doing. So right now, this is the editing workspace. If I click color, you'll see that it changes and you've got this Lumetri color over on the right hand side. And then you've got your source, your, um, your source monitor up here, your project pane, your program monitor, all of that. If I go to effects, it changes again. If I go to audio, it changes. So now you've got your different audio pieces, titles, etc. So you can change that workspace. Then to click back through, you can either go up here to window and workspaces and click these individual ones or you can just click right here in the front and you can go like right back to editing like we are. So this is your basics in setting up a, setting up a um, project. So this is a new project. Let's go ahead and drop some media into here and then we'll just go through a couple of functions in here and then that'll be it for today. So now for the purpose of this video, let's grab some media. Let's bring it down into our project area. I'll show you how it shows the media in there, how you can create some bins. And then we'll do a couple of things with the media, then we'll exit out of this video for the day. Really just wanna give you an overview of the workspace and um, how you can navigate it and give you an idea of starting your first project. So let's open up Finder here. So I've got this window. This is the GoPro Karma video that I did. Now in here, these are Premiere project files. And then I've got different folders. So like I've got this ATD, <laughs> this ADD, so this is footage from my Canon ADD. I know that this Fresh Start MP3 is one that I wanted. This global report is the news bumper, GoPro Karma footage, this MP4, this ping. Should we leave that out? These two from the Ninja. And then um, this watercolor, and we'll actually bring that out. And then XC10. So this is all of the media that I wanted to bring into this project. So we'll just, we've got it highlighted and now we can just drag it right from Finder into the project area. And you'll see it's going to do some things. So there it is. So right now it's conforming the video. It's going to create audio peaks, all of that. So here is the footage down here. And this is a really good representation actually because it's showing us, we've got audio, we have video, we have um, different folders. So here you've got these folders. So I can hear in ADD, there's these six videos. Um, here's GoPro Karma footage. Here's XC10 footage. Okay, so now I've got my footage here. I can bring now something into here. So basically what I'm gonna do is if I double click a clip in here, it's going to go up into the source monitor. From there, I can bring it right into the timeline or I could manipulate it, edit it with some in and out points where I want it to start and stop and bring that down. One important thing to note is that that first clip by default, whatever I bring in, that is going to set the sequence settings. As I bring other clips in, it'll say it doesn't match the sequence settings, so I want to change it or whatever. So if, as an example, if I go into XC10, I've got this one video right here, and I pull this in, so I can look in here, and I can see that this is 1080p. Um, here's the, uh, it's 48,000 48, hertz, so 48 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo. Um, it is 19 minutes and 18 seconds long and it's 1080p. So as I bring this down, this sequence now, this is a 1080p sequence. Now for this clip in particular, I went ahead and brought the whole clip down and you can see it's 19 minutes long, it's very long. Maybe I would do that, maybe I'd bring the whole clip down, that's my master one that then I'm cutting stuff in between. But let's say that I, with that clip, I only wanted to bring in a very distinct portion of video. Maybe it was um, just this right here. This is a really good example. Maybe it's just the karma coming down. So I'll make this my end point. That's where I want it to start. And that's in, I am not end. And I can do that by either pressing this open bracket here, or I can press the letter I. So now you'll see that this is a seven minute and 59 second. And then I'm gonna bring that over here to where the karma flies away. And now I'm gonna do the out point, or I can just press O. So I can do that close bracket or press O. And now this little sliver, that's the footage that I bring in. So now instead of being 19, 19 minutes, it is now 11.11 seconds. 
So instead of bringing a whole clip down, I can bring it up into the source monitor, mark my in and out, and then bring it down into the um, timeline. And then on the timeline, you'll notice that if I hit play, and I hit play just by pressing the space bar. So the space bar in video editing typically starts and stops a clip. So as I hit play right here in the program monitor, this is what's actually in the timeline. So if I'd cut in other clips or whatever, you would see them here. And then if this isn't playing smoothly, right now it's playing at full resolution, I could change that to one half or one quarter resolution and have it play there. So for today, that's the basics of launching Premiere, getting a project started, looking at those project settings, bringing some media in, then looking at that media in the source monitor and bringing it down to the timeline and then seeing your preview in the program monitor. I didn't wanna to get too deep into editing at anything at all today. I just wanna show you some basics of Premiere, show you the workspace, how to set up your workspace, how you can manipulate it, how you can restore back to a saved layout and then get yourself back to a default state and just some basics with working with your media. Moving forward, we'll do a lot more from organizing media to working with audio, to working with your video clips, to cutting, you know, editing, all of that. So I hope you enjoyed today. If you have any questions below, let me know. This is Premiere. I'm gonna also do some stuff with HitFilm. So HitFilm, if you don't know what it is, you go to hitfilm.com. They, um, they have a great free editor called HitFilm. And then there's a HitFilm Pro. It's not a subscription, it's I think $2.99. Um, I've got it as well, so I'll start showing you some stuff between Premiere and bet between HitFilm. One of the questions that I get all the time is what's a great low cost editor? HitFilm's a great one. So I'll try and do some videos between the two, but this is gonna be the Premiere series. Hope you like it. Uh, this is video number one. And if you have any questions below or if you have any ideas or things that you wanna see, comment below, get the conversation started. I take notes on the comments and that helps me figure out what content to develop moving forward. So thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. You keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon.